real quick, another thing. Uh, you know, you think, I'm a war gaming channel. No, nah, dude, I'm a novice. I'm just learning. But this is interesting. These are the same publishers that did the the photo books, the world, the uh, the ones I showed you with the black shirts in Russia. Now, I, I showed you the little wars that Peter Dennis, the guy that did this artwork, actually developed and adapted the H.G. Wells rules uh, to making paper soldiers. So he combined two interesting things together, an archaic war game where you actually shoot stuff uh, and, able, and making armies out of paper soldiers. Now, paper soldiers were soldiers you had, I guess for the kids that didn't have money, um, but... As you can see, what you can do with it. What's the Thirty Years' War? Oh man, this this friggin' war! I don't have to tell you historically. The, the implications of this war are huge. Okay, so you have the fault line running through Europe, uh, going through the middle of Germany of the Catholics and the Protestants. Of course, maybe it doesn't matter now, but uh, the nation state. Okay, now you had you started to develop national armies. Uh, because you can't have mercenaries murdering and raping everybody, <laughs> okay? Um, and also, uh, just real quick, in terms of the psychology of Deutschland, okay, there's no Germany yet, you have Germanic kingdoms. All they know is that for thousands of years, these other powers around them are marching through their lands, uh, using some against each other, killing, raping, you know, pestilence, everything. And they get, they got, they started to get tired of it. There's people invading them, people using them, people going through them, uh, you know, to fight other powers. The German, the Germanic kingdoms, they got kind of sick of that. So you kind of wonder why eventually they com they unified and combined. Okay? And the game itself, like I said, is an Italian publisher, right? And what's cool, if you, let's say you're trying to, I don't know, learn Italian, you have. The Italian and the English side by side. I mean, so it's a great learning tool uh, on top of everything else. Of course, uh, interesting creative space book. And you mentioned how to, you know, cut out the paper soldiers. Obviously, you want to photocopy them. You want to keep the book as a base. And just like, I just go through the art. Look at the, the thing here. Of course, they explain, right? I just, I'll just they give a background of the bloody Thirty Years' War. Right? Of course, on a military level with the Thirty Years' War, the way of fighting changed radically, so did the techniques of warfare and the formations of militias which turned from mercenary troops, right, into regular armies. Tactics and strategy were refined and modernized for a restless and complex policy, oh, leading to a new political and religious order right, in Europe with a clear division not only between Catholics and Protestant countries, but also between the great nations that were then consolidated. Right, so you can see that the setup for all the fun we're gonna have later what was done. And this de this devastating war, devastating war. You know, a third of the German population was dead, okay? and nobody liked these fucking mercenaries coming in, raping your women, killing your men, taking your sons, uh, and taking all your food. Now, now, in terms of the rules, they talk about the sizing of it, right? Of course, the photocopy can. Do it. The rules are pretty simple. These are like kind of like rules anyone can make, uh, which you probably use for a lot of these scenarios here. Just you know, uh, the you know alternating uh, movement. The you know player A moves first. They decide who moves first. Who has the initiative? They shoot. The second side moves. They shoot. And when they get too close, they have melee, right? Which is say hand to hand combat. Uh, so I mean, pretty simple rules. They have the tables here, right? And these guys, you know, who do this kind of war gaming, they can make their own tables up out of experience. But this is what you, this is what you have. Right? You see the melee, right? Obviously, the these the inf the uh, cavalry can move more, right? And commanders they can move more, right? The infantry can move less. Oh, Indians fighting me. That's all right. I'm always fighting. I fight every single day here. And uh, just the artwork, interesting. The so the same idea you had. In the Peter Dennis book I showed you, right, you have, uh, obviously you photocopy this, you don't want to cut this book apart, you can make, you can alter the sizes, and you fold them together, right, to make the, I mean, it's a flat, right, it's like this, the flat toy soldiers, they had, oh, the Spanish flag, but you can see, right, um, the mirror images of each other facing this way, you, you photocopy this, you cut out, cut it out, 
you fold it, you, put, you glue it, and you make the base, obviously you, the base is going to be card, like cardboard or, you know, whatever kind of card you can use for it. And you have these great detailed flags, cavalry, uh, really, really fun, you know. I had a lot of fun actually making the soldiers I did. Uh, and of course you go across the, the whole Croatian infantry, right? You can see they, they look more Eastern, right? But, yeah, it's just interesting. And more stuff you can make. Pikemen, you know, the pikemen were really big. The pikemen were what kept your damn cavalry from running you down, okay? Uh, and then when you have, of course, the guns. Now every now you're, you're on the horse, you think you're a badass. Your ass is getting shot off, and now you're going down hard. And then these dudes are coming with you with bills and hook spears, and you know, fuck you up. So this is uh, man, look at look at the great art. I mean, just alone, I'm impressed with this. Just seeing this, you know. And you got the, of course, remember at this point, the Bavarians are Catholic. They're gonna be fighting the Saxons and the other Germans, right? And the Swedes. Uh, and of course, you can make cannons. I like that you can. Make, and you have cannons from the side, but you could also make three-dimensional cannons right here. Like you can make it like this. Now they, these don't shoot like in the Peter Dennis game, but I had mentioned when I made it, it was kind of hard to shoot with those. So, yeah, it was my, it, I was my fault. Look at the mortars, right? Yeah, mortars. Yeah, that's right. You had firepower back then. Also, that I like is the detail given to like the, the backgrounds. Now this is getting into like Godzilla ter movie territory, right? But you can make. The little house, right? This is what it's... I like how they give you a picture of... Yeah, it should look like this when you're done. Yeah. The, oh, look at the freaking... Oh, the windmill. The, uh, the wild mill. Okay, a little... little uh, te uh, technical error. But that's okay, Paisan. Uh, I like to... Ch oh, look at the... You can make trees, right? You, you cut that out. You fold them together. Uh, Making this stuff is a, is part of the hobby with this, uh, and of course, and yeah, they give you some scenarios of what it's gonna be like. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I just think it's fascinating uh, as an as a uh, variation on the war game, you know, coming from Italy. Uh, you know, uh, a cheaper way to make armies, you know, because I mean, like I said, uh, in the hobby store the other day, and even looking online and looking at this stuff. I forget. I mean, looking at the, looking at this thing, but you're talking, you know, not rich man money, but it, it is, you know, it is a hobby that you can get. You know, the regular man can sort of invest a lot of dollars in, it. Um, and this gives you more options uh, to to not have to do that. So, I mean, you're gonna miss these boomer hobbies when they're gone, when we're fighting, like you know, when we're scrounging for food and whatnot. But for now, you know. There's ways we can enjoy, so this is interesting, interesting. And uh, we are, me and James, at some point, we are going to show you combat uh, sequence in the game he was coming up with. I haven't forgot about that, you know, and I haven't forgot about the other videos too. There's some videos we still owe, but you know how it is, man. Like you know, it's uh, trying to mix fit everything in. But we will get to all your questions. Trust us, trust me. Anyway, I'm just, I'm the camp, I'm the director. So, all right. Later.